filming with us in sunny Tampa, downtown Tampa, at Channel Side at Stem Supper Club, hosting the film Florida Film thing. Florida Dinner film celebration. The Legends Award. I got to tell you, I'm and we so have excited. A with us. We have a legend with us. We are sitting and going to be chatting with Jordan Klein Sr. Bob Ross is here, sitting next to him. He's a big fan of yours. Yeah, from Bob, Bob Movies dot com. Thank and you. We want it, Mr. Klein. We want to give this to you as our creative of the week. This is uh, very humble Thank compared you. to I know uh, the Academy Award <laughs> that you've actually been awarded, but uh, hopefully it uh, it'll it'll go on the mantle at least somewhere near the Academy Award. You know, this is from people, however, that uh, I work with all the time and and know, and this is a lot closer. You know, I didn't realize that you were from Ocala. I thought you were from a big city. Well, I was from I'm from Miami Beach, the big city. <laughs> and then I moved up to Ocala in '78. In '78, so you've been there a long time. Tell us a little bit about what it was like. I mean, for tonight's a big honor for the Legends Award, the Lifetime or the Scientific Achievement Award that you won. Tell us about that a little bit. If you from, can from the Academy Award, tell us a little bit about how, you know the uh, the uh, the award that you received from uh, from the Academy. Because uh, you, you are a very specialized cinematographer. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about your uh, your work. Uh, well, Ta you know, it all started out by building camera housings. Uh, from, from a dive boat, I had a dive boat, took out divers, and then had to take, uh, got tired of them shooting holes in fish, <laughs> so we started building camera housings, and then uh, next thing I knew, I built a camera housing for a commercial theatrical camera, an Aeroflex. And then Ivan Torres, who was doing Flipper, uh, said, can you use that thing? And I said, yeah, yeah I think so. Yeah. So he said, okay, I want you to shoot Flipper. So how did you build the contraption? Because your, your, your specialty, if I'm wrong, is underwater filming, correct? That's correct. How did you decide to start shooting underwater? And an Airflex camera is heavy. So well, how did you do that? Well, by the time we put it in the housing, it was weightless because we had enough displacement oh, okay. to where when wow. it went underwater, it weighed nothing. So did you have to become a certified scuba diver to, to shoot underwater? Yeah, so actually it's... Uh, it's easier to become. It's easier to be a, a, a diver and become a cameraman, I think, <laughs> than the other way around. Really? There's a lot more certifications or and tests and stuff that you have to go through for a scuba right. diver, right? Yeah. How, you what what is you've done, a hundred and some odd films, or if not more. I don't know if it's that many, but it's quite a few. Can you tell us about one of your most memorable experiences or a funny story or or? Jaws attacked you by mistake, and the equipment went faulty. I mean, can yeah. you give or us? Or when the, the camera sank, or something right. like yeah. that. So I don't think sharks attack by mistake. <laughs> well, he was mechanical, so I thought maybe something happened. Oh no! Well, the mechanical ones are okay. The real ones are the ones that uh, can do the damage, of course. But Thunderball, uh, by far, wow. was the James Bond. most impressive yes. picture. Yeah, the James Bond picture, Thunderball, is the most impressive picture that I had ever worked on. And Rico Browning was a director, and uh, I was actually director of underwater engineering of all things and I was also filming Ugh. and uh, there was one scene I was shooting that is uh, remarkable since there were two people fighting and uh, in the background I see a fish coming up a shark actually and uh, I said oh he's not going to keep coming but I kept moving to keep him in the frame so you're keep not in a cage then right no no you're we're not in a okay. cage no uh -huh. one's in a cage and the shark comes up and uh, keeps coming toward him I said well, he's not going he's going to get scared and swim off so he swims real close, and the two guys fighting look over and see him, and they both separate from one another and look at the shark, <laughs> and the shark swims off, and they look at each other, and they start fighting again. Oh, talent's great, you right? You can't script yeah, that. You couldn't yeah. set that up. There's no yeah. way. Did you use any of that footage for this yeah, show? Yeah, it was yeah. used, yeah. Oh, well, that's awesome. You know, one of your biggest fans, Bob Ross, is sitting right next to you. Bob, do you have any questions that you want to ask Mr. Klein? Well, it's just amazing because, you know, Florida is so famous for its water salt water and fresh water and you've worked in in both extensively right uh, when you started out were you like a kid in in miami that was fascinated with diving is i mean how did you progress into photography well i guess uh we used to take cans and pails and stuff like that and put holes and in, in glass in them and get a pump a, and pump air down into it and uh, no non-return valve check valve nothing as you know <laughs> i'm lucky i'm still alive but we did that, and then, of course, when the Aqualungs came out, I, I had a dive boat, and this was probably in 1950, 48 or 50. And I took the first diving trips out of Miami, maybe in the East Coast, I don't know. And that's, and then I, like I said, I was tired of getting people punching holes in the local wildlife, so I started giving them a camera so that they could take the fish back but not eat it. 
<laughs> do you still, is there, if someone wants to do underwater photography as a hobby, how would they get started? What would they need to start? Oh, there's tons of equipment now. That's what I started doing. That's how I got into it. Just to build underwater camera housings, inexpensive ones. And now uh, everybody's building them. Do and you have any? Excellent. Uh, getting your pictures published is something else, but you know, there's plenty of locations to get that done. That, that there's a need for underwater pictures. Did you always use natural light, or did you have to do any lighting underneath? Uh, at the beginning, I used uh, natural light, and then the little camera I developed uh, with 120 film called the Mako Shark. Sold it for 9.95 without the flash and 19.95 with the <laughs> flash. And sold 55. That flash will do for you. Yeah, yeah. 55,000 of them, and uh, that was the beginning. You know, Mr. Klein, can I ask you just, I know your, your son is following into your footsteps. I know we have yep. to wrap it up soon. Um, what advice would you give to, to young people who are coming out into the film world that want to be, they want to be you, they want to emulate you? What kind of advice would you give them that perhaps somebody gave you or didn't? Yeah, what have you learned there? <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's pretty tough now. There's a lot of competition, as there is in uh, the entire movie industry, really. Whether you want to be an actor, director, or whatever. Uh, if you're a producer with money, you can get the job easy. Right. You know, you're lined up, they'll, they'll line up at your doorstep. But to get started, it's, it, you just have to start at the bottom and go to a school if you can, and then see what you can do to move in from that. And the schools now allow you to do your own films, write a script, do the film, and show it. There's a lot of places that'll show those that product, and, uh, and there's a lot of films right now that are coming along that had made a lot of money, they were made for pennies. And that's an excellent way to do it if you can get started with a group of kids. Yeah. So you, you must be excited also about this, uh, the, the incentives and uh, that's gonna happen here in, in Florida with uh, the tax breaks and things like yeah, that. Yeah, I think the incentives are an excellent way to go. Yeah. Well, it's a real pleasure to have you here, and uh, congratulations on the uh, uh, being uh, nominated, or uh, excuse me, awarded a legend here in Film Florida. Thank you, thank you. Uh, Mr. Klein from Ocala. Thank you very much. Bob I Ross from Bob Ross to be here. Movies com. Thank you Are so you much. Are you guys going to be interviewing later? Or? Yeah, uh, we'll, we're going to do another interview that will be on uh, BobRossMovies.com. And what a great site that is, too, i got to tell you. Growing, growing more every day. Yeah. It is. Yeah. Thank you both. Congratulations. Thank you. And uh, Thank you we'll much. see you. We'll come to a cow and visit you sometime. Do soon. that. We please. will. I, invite My us. My son will like that too. We'll yeah, bring our, our camera crews. They'll want to see the stuff. Yeah. Invite Thank us you. and we'll come.